Our project was designing a prosthetic hand. So our whole project kind of orbited around how can we help this kid have a complete experience at the Terre Haute Children's Museum and make it as easy for this child as possible. We were all designated one certain area in the museum to create a prosthetic arm which would solve the problems that this kid would have. Today we were performing the last step in our design process, so validating our prosthetics, which is kind of a fancy way of saying testing it, but testing it as a user, not as an engineer. So today was sort of the fun part where now we just get to give it to the kids and say, hey, can you do this task or not? Is it easy? Is it fun? For some of us, we've learned what more we want to do in biomedical engineering or which areas of biomedical engineering we want to stray away from. And it is beneficial to know which direction you want to go based on projects like these. I've always been interested in pediatric prosthetics. So this has really been a hands-on experience with what it is I want to do. It's really been rewarding learning how they are as a client. Can I try and break dance? Try and break dance? Yeah. Seeing something that I helped create makes a big impact on me because now I know that I can help people. You know, I'm a biomedical engineer, so I'm, I, my whole goal in life is to go out there and make people's lives better. I've always been told growing up that if you have the ability to help people, that's the way that you should go. And knowing that I'm passionate about STEM and engineering, knowing that I can apply that to improve other people's lives, is kind of all the motive I need to pursue biomedical engineering.